The Texas Department of Public Safety has produced this educational video to help applicants applying for a Texas commercial driver license determine if a commercial motor vehicle is safe to operate on Texas and U.S. roadways. This module will discuss inspection items for the various coupling systems. This includes coupling systems for a truck, trailer, and semi-trailer. Each driver will only be required to demonstrate the coupling system on the vehicle in which they are testing. The first coupling system we'll look at is also the most common type called a fifth wheel coupling and is used on most trucks, tractors, and semi-trailers. The fifth wheel skid plate and locking jaw mechanism are held on a mounting called the platform base. If the platform base has any structural damage, such as cracks or breaks, or if there are any parts missing, the fifth wheel could detach. Check the platform to ensure it is attached tightly to the frame or sliding assembly. The trailer rests on the fifth wheel skid plate. A faulty skid plate and an improper connection with the tractor and fifth wheel can result in handling problems. The fifth wheel skid plate needs to be properly lubricated and properly attached to the platform and cannot be missing any parts such as bolts or pins. Trucks, trailers, and tractor-truck combinations all utilize mounting bolts. If bolts are missing or loose, it could cause dangerous movement between the frame and the coupling assembly. Loose bolts could also snap off, causing loss of trailer. If the vehicle has a sliding fifth wheel, drivers will confirm there are no loose or missing pins. If it is air-powered, drivers will also inspect for leaks. The fifth wheel must be positioned so that the tractor frame will clear the landing gear during turns. On a fifth wheel, the metal plate that attaches to the trailer and provides a surface for resting the trailer on is called the apron. Make sure the visible part of the apron is not bent and has no cracks or breaks. The kingpin is necessary to attach the trailer to the tractor. Any damage to the kingpin could cause the trailer to detach. Verify that the kingpin is not damaged and that the kingpin lock is in place when it is attached to the truck. The locking jaws or lever provide a connection around the kingpin and where the trailer connects. If the locking mechanism is not properly fastened, the trailer could unhook while being pulled. Confirm that the fifth wheel locking jaws or lever is properly placed on the kingpin. The release arm has to be engaged with the locking jaws closed completely around the kingpin. The release must be checked to ensure it is in the proper position. If it has a safety latch, it must be in place. The last item to check on this coupling is called gap. There should be no daylight visible between the fifth wheel and the apron. Air and electrical lines connect the air supply and electrical power between the power unit and the trailer. Lines cannot drag against the truck or tractor and must be free of tangles or pinches. Worn, cut, or splice lines should be replaced before operation of the vehicle. Air lines will also be checked for leaks. The air connectors will be in good condition and properly sealed. Ensure the trailer electrical plug is tightly installed and locked on both the truck and the trailer. There are several other types of couplings and accessories used on commercial motor vehicles. One of these is a pinnel hook. Broken welds or missing parts in the pinnel hook could cause a vehicle to lose the trailer. Drivers must check the pinnel hook for any damage or extreme deterioration. Trucks and trailers have safety devices such as latches, chains, and cables to keep the vehicle secure. One example is the safety latch or locking mechanism on the hitch release lever. This is intended to keep the lever closed. Safety chains need to be hooked and crisscrossed properly. 
In order for safety chains to be effective, they cannot have any kinks or extra slack and must have all the cotter pins in place. A rare type of coupling found on some large utility vehicles is a sliding pintle. If the vehicle has a sliding pintle, the driver needs to make sure it is attached tightly and has no loose or missing parts. If it is not locked, the trailer could shift while driving, which would cause the vehicle to lose the trailer. Some commercial motor vehicles pull trailers that have several features that need to be inspected. Near the front of the trailer is the tongue or drawbar, which is used for joining a trailer to a straight truck. For the tongue or drawbar to work properly, it must be straight and cannot have any broken welds or cracks. The tongue storage area is a platform located on the tongue of the trailer and is used for storage. Drivers must check the storage area to ensure everything is attached to the tongue. Any cargo in the storage area, such as chains or binders, must be firmly fastened down. Taking the time to learn the safety and security aspects of the vehicle will help you prepare for the pre-trip portion of the CDL test. Thanks for watching and good luck. Drivers, study plus preparation equals pre-trip pass. You can also use the CDL Vehicle Inspection Memory Aid found on page 11-9 of the CDL Handbook. Maximize your time and efforts of the CDL pre-trip test by studying chapters 10, 11, 12, and 13 in the Texas Commercial Motor Vehicle Driver Handbook. Review the correct sections for each type of CDL test you need by using the chart shown here. More time spent in preparing greatly increases your level of success. The information you just received is one part of a series to help prepare you to become a safe and licensed commercial driver. For further updates, subscribe to the channel, and as always, be safe and courteous while traveling the roadways.